Okay, in this tutorial, let's have a go at integrating cosine to the fourth power of x with respect to x. Now, there are a couple of variations on how you can approach this problem. One of them being you can write cosine to the fourth power as cosine squared all squared, and then use a half angle formula, one plus cosine of twice the angle, or two times x, on two to reduce the power but once you expand this term, you'll have to reduce the power once more with the half angle formula again. So the main aim of the game is actually power reduction. And a few videos ago, we did derive the reduction formula for powers, or for integrating powers of cosine, which is 1 divided by n by cosine to the n minus 1 power, n can be any integer power, by sine of x plus n minus 1 divided by n by the integral of cosine to the n minus 2 power of x with respect to x. So to make things simple, we just need to substitute n for 4. So the integral of cosine to the fourth power of x with respect to x is equal to 1 on 4 by cosine cubed of x by sine of x plus 4 minus 1 on 4 by the integral of cosine to the second power, or cosine squared of x with respect to x. Okay, so the only term we need to simplify is here, where 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Alright, so now the only integral left to evaluate is cosine squared of x, and we can do that either by applying the reduction formula again, or by using the half angle formula. It's my opinion with powers of 2, the half angle formula is more efficient and the smarter approach. So let's write the formula this way, cosine of twice the angle plus 1 on 2. So just reversing what I've written up here. The half can come out the front. So this simply then evaluates to a half by the integral of cosine is sine, so it's a sine of 2x, and I need to apply the reverse chain rule by dividing by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses here, which is equal to 2. The integral of 1 goes to x, and of course I need to include a plus c here. So expanding that, we get sine of 2x on 4 plus x on 2 plus c. So putting this into our final result, we have the integral of cosine to the fourth power of x with respect to x is equal to one-fourth or a quarter of cosine to the third power of x by sine of x plus three quarters. And in brackets, I have sine to the 2x on 4 plus x on 2 plus c. So the result simplifies down to 1 quarter by cosine to the third power of x by sine x plus 3 sine of 2x on 16 plus x on 8 plus d where d is equal to 3 quarters of c. So D and C are both still arbitrary constants of integration. So this is the final result that we are looking for using the reduction formula to find cosine, to find the integral of cosine to the fourth power of x. Please check out the link for deriving the reduction formula for the integral of powers of cosine. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and please share it with your fellow students for more videos that may help you with your mathematics, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're able to, I would really appreciate any small donation as your contribution will help me to produce more content to help math students all around the world. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.